I such regret a flaw. it. Like, I was what like, the hell was wrong with me? I like, know. <laughs> God. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, I'm Bree, this is Francesca. We haven't made a video in a really long time. So. And we're in a different setting. Yeah. Because we got a ring light. We got a ring light. So. Unemployment. So what is up? How is quarantine going for you guys? Comment down below. Yeah, comment down below. We are um, going insane. Yeah, slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. We haven't made a video in so long because school. Yeah, because of school. School. <laughs> <laughs> really busy with school. Yep, and TikTok. So, you know, we be trying out that TikTok vibe, but you don't really be catching. <laughs> <laughs> so, so today we're going to be talking about celebrity encounters. The cringiest celebrity encounters. Story time. Because we have some pretty cringy ones between us both. Yeah. You go first. Okay, so starting with me, when I was like 18 or 17 or 18, for my birthday, my mom took me to Willingham, North Carolina, and that is where the show One Tree Hill was filmed. <laughs> what do they call those things? Um, events or something? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know they're what called people, events. Like, like con, like, yeah, like it was like One con. Tree Hill con. No, it wasn't Dragon Con. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to Dragon Con. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong. I just didn't go. <laughs> okay, so it was a One Tree Hill, like, con, like, One Tree Hill con. And... <laughs> it's like not making any sense. It is a One Tree Hill convention. And a bunch of the artists signed up to go, or whatever, and then you could pay, like, an outrageous amount of money to go and sit in some room and listen to these idiots tell you about their life, which I didn't want to do. So but I would... you like the show. Why would you call them idiots? Because I'm not... They're charging me $100 to sit there, and they can be like... Yeah, I had breakfast at Waffle House today. Oh, like, yeah. Instead, I just wanted to go to the concert that they had for the people who were musicians on the show. And so, if you watch the show, one of the main characters was Haley, and I saw her perform whatever, and then I was waiting in line to meet two of the other people on the show, and she drove past me in her car, and I happened to be at the back of the line, and my mom was like, oh my gosh, that's Haley, like, look, she's in her car. So I turned around and she rolled the window down and I was like, Haley! And then she was like, hi, how are you? And I was just like... <laughs> I just sat there and I tried to like pull my phone out and I just like threw my phone all over my hands and then she was just sitting there like in her car, like holding her driver up so I could say hi to her and like come up and take a picture. And I just stood there staring at her. You didn't go up to her? No. Bruh. Yeah, I know, and she wasn't doing meet and greets, like all the other people were, and she wasn't, and she was like letting me come out to her car to take a picture, and I was just sitting there like... That's really, really weird, but... <laughs> As I'm waiting in line, I'm waiting in line to meet two other people on the show, that now I think about it, it was so long ago, I can't even remember their names. It, Chris Keller was one of them, and the other one was... No idea. Oh, it was, it was me, Mia, or Maya? Kate Vogel's her real name, but they were doing... They go on tour together, so they were doing a meet and greet together. And Kate Vogel, I thought, was like really, really attractive. So when I got up there, I was like so nervous, I didn't talk to her. And then Tyler Hilton, which was the guy, I had him on Snapchat, and I would always Snapchat him for some reason. Obviously, he didn't Snapchat me back or even open it because he's like a celebrity. Like, I was on his subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. So when I walked <laughs> up there, instead of saying hi to Kate, I walk up and they're like being so nice, they're giving people hugs and like saying hello and taking pictures, taking their time with people, you know, most people get rushed through. I walk up and I say, you know I Snapchat you all the time and you don't answer. Dude. <laughs> That's what I said to him. Fumble. Yes, and then, yeah, that was such a weird thing to say, <laughs> and my mom's just sitting there like, I paid $80 for this and you're yeah. doing, you're being an idiot. Yeah, you're being stupid. <laughs> So then, the whole reason I want to do it is to meet Kate Vogel. I never even talked to her. I take the picture, and then I look at her and go, oh my gosh, I love you. And she's like, oh, I love you too. And then I was like, okay. And then I had to walk away. But that's how most things happen, honestly. Like, if you really think about it, why do we say I love you? Like, to celebrities. Like, I don't want to say that, And then that they too. say I love you back, but it's like, then you're like, oh my god, why did I say that? Yeah. Like, I did that. Before yeah, I know. Cue her story. <laughs> I'm drinking white clothes. She's drinking LaCroix. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gay 
and you're a girl, well, you probably liked Fifth Harmony at some point in your life. If not Fifth Harmony, then you liked Lauren Hareki. Yeah, at some point. In your life, yeah. You probably yeah. thought Lauren was hot or you liked Fifth Harmony. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. obviously. Okay, so yeah, I was insane. She's trying to like justify yeah. like, how fucking weird you were. <laughs> <laughs> so I was insane. I was obsessed with Fifth Harmony. And by obsessed, I mean like weirdly upset. Can you stop drinking in front of me? Mm. It's really like annoying. Is it rude? Yes. To okay. you it's rude, to me it's funny, so I won't <laughs> say it to you. Funny? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, that's not funny. It's talking about Kardashian. Yeah, to you. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah, sorry, TikTok's our side career. <laughs> <laughs> From the age like 14 to 17, I was weird as hell. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> that's it, that's my story! <laughs> I like went to like whenever they came to Atlanta where we live, like I always went to their show or whatever and I always wanted to meet them. You just told them where we live. <laughs> no, I'm just so I went to go meet Fifth Army with two of my other friends. My package! <laughs> I'm like, sorry guys. <laughs> She just ordered so much I've shit ordered, on like, this quarantine. Yes. With no, with no like job, and she just keeps ordering shit. Dude. <laughs> Anyways, back to your story. So she was meeting Fifth Harmony with a couple of her friends. Yeah. So we were in this line, or whatever, and we were like talking to these other people. And by this time, I was like hyperventilating, like freaking out because I was like, this was the first time I've ever seen Fifth Harmony like in person, like ever. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I've seen them before. She though. was in love with Lauren Hareki. Yes. That's like key. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. duh. We walk up there and like it was like a black tarp down and they were standing like behind it, but you could like hear them talking to other people like on the other side. So you were like, I was just like freaking out, you know. And so I walked up, saw them in front of me, whatever. I saw like five, like I saw their faces and then I just like blacked out. Like I don't remember like between like how I walked towards them or like how I got to them, like I don't know. And I just remember like I wanted to talk to Lauren, but then I just ended up by Camila on the other side. And then we were just taking a picture and then like I was just like, holy shit, like this is crazy. Cause I was just like freaking out. Like I was like out of body experience, you know? And Camila like kisses me on the cheek in one of the pictures and I'm just like, I like shut my eyes or some shit. It's really weird. Yeah, her eyes are like one eyes are closed and like one eyes open. She's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, Camila's just like, like so embarrassing. I'm just like, I was just like sitting there taking pictures. Next thing I know, like Camila Cabello is kissing me on the cheek. But then they were like, oh my gosh, let's do a group circle. And I think, like. Wait, was this just with you guys and like. Yes. Them? Yes. And then, so it was the five That's people. That's so intimidating. Yes. I remember the first time. Like I ever met them with my, my two friends, like none of us talked. But the second time we all went to go meet them again, we did talk a little bit more, which I'll get into that story next. Okay, so I've met Lauren four times and I've met Fifth Harmony three times. So oh, did you, did you win like something to meet her? Yeah, I had the tweet like tons of times. And they chose me on the radio. I was like, I was telling all my friends, like I was like, guys, I'm gonna win. They're like, no, you're not like, Fran, like you're so like annoying, you're not gonna win. Like, because they just thought I was being dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and you won. And Literally. then she got to meet Lauren right here. Yeah. For free. And I got to bring one person, but then I ended up bringing two because I'm just a savage like that. <laughs> so the second time I met them, it was with my brother and then my same two friends from the first time. And I remember at this time, we all were like practicing what we were going to say to them because we were like, oh my gosh, like we have to like talk to them this time. And so we go up there, whatever, I still, still don't talk, but I do say I love you. Like that's the first thing I say to, like I run to Lauren because I wanted to have a picture with her. You're like, I've waited And I was like, years. I was waiting, I was like, ran right up there and I was like, I love you. She was like, I love you too. And then we like took a picture. <laughs> and then I remember my other friend was like telling Dinah that Dinah doesn't Snapchat her back and was asking. See, yeah. it's not weird. No, it's not weird. Cause that's just the first thing you think to yeah. say. And then so she was like, add me on Snapchat. <laughs> But she never, yeah, she of course never, she didn't. Yeah. She never added her. Yeah. But one of my friends was wearing a necklace and was standing next to Lauren and was like, and Lauren liked her necklace because it was like a rock or something like that. So then Lauren was like, yeah, I like your necklace, whatever. And then my friend was like, oh my gosh, you can have it. And she started taking it off. And Lauren was like, no, it's okay. 
like it. That's, That's so pretty much, funny. and then I don't, I just never talk to them because I'm just like weird. Like, I can't tell you, like, I can't talk to people that I'm really obsessed with because I don't know what to say. It's not even people you're obsessed with because I am obsessed with the Aces. You kind of are too now, but like, yeah. so the Aces are an all-girl band and we're pretty sh two of them are confirmed gay. One of them, possible. But what? Yeah, Katie's not like a confirmed gay, but like everyone's like, you're gay. Uh, they're like the best. Anyways, listen to them, whatever. But I bought tickets to their show in Nashville last year. It's actually one of our first videos. I'll actually link it up here. You guys can go watch the vlog. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we went to go see them. I was so like, because it was at a super small venue. And I was like, okay, I'm going to wait out back and we're going to meet them. Yeah, so we're in our car. Yeah, so the show ends at like probably like 11 and we sit out back and it's pouring down rain in the middle of the winter. We're just sitting inside the car, absolutely frozen. And it's probably like, what, 2 a.m.? Mm -hmm. We waited from 11 <laughs> to 2. We were like, yeah. I know the moment we try to pull off, like they're going to come out and we're going to be so <laughs> mad at ourselves. This is so embarrassing. Just like the amount of time that went by, yeah. we were so tired. Yeah, and because hungry. We, yeah, hungry. And we didn't leave because we were like, they're going to come out. They're going to come out. We just kept waiting. And who opened for them? Joan. And Joan came out first. They came out at like, probably like 12. And so we were like, oh, they're coming out soon. So Joan came out. And they backed their car up and almost hit her car. And we were like, perfect. If they hit your car, That's then perfect. like, perfect. <laughs> they didn't hit the car and then they left. So we were like, okay, we gotta stay a little bit longer. Like they're almost coming. And then it started reaching the point where I feel like she was like ready to go. She was just sitting there. She was on her phone. She was like, they're not coming. Like they're not coming. I was like, they're gonna come. So finally I see the door open and like the door's in this alley. So all I can see is the door crack open. I see, sun, I see light and then I hear voices. And I'm like, I'm like, babe, babe. And she's like, She's just on Twitter, and I'm like, babe, babe. And she's just scrolling. Just, I'm like, look, I look out of it. look. And she just would not look. And I was like, it's them. And she was like, no, it's not. And I was like, look up. It's Elisa right there. And so she finally looked up. Okay, I looked up. Okay, but it took Shit, her like a minute. Like, because like I didn't know what to do. Like, so I roll the window down, pouring down rain. And I go, hey, aces. <laughs> That's probably so scary to them. <laughs> Why? They were probably like, what the They were just like, <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, which is the lead singer, stops and looks at me. Elisa gets in the car. She's like, f you, you weirdo. Yeah. Crystal and I think it was Katie stop and they're standing there and they're like staring at us and they're like, hey. And I'm like, you guys did great tonight. Like, you played an awesome show. And they were like, thank you so much. And they're like standing there. And this is like, I it felt like the longest five minutes of my life. But I'm. <laughs> This is the window, and this is me. <laughs> hey, Aces! I'm just like, hey. And I'm just hanging out the window. She's sitting in the front seat, just like this. <laughs> Shitting myself. Literally. She, and this is before she really liked them, so. And then, they're standing there in the pouring rain, just getting drenched. And they're standing there, and they're just like waiting for us to get out of the car and like come give them a hug, ask for a picture of something. Yeah. And I just go, bye! And I roll the window up. <laughs> and then I go, drive, drive, drive! So they they probably thought these people waited this long for us to come out to just say good show and yeah. then drive off like weirdos. And they, okay, that's not even that's the best part. That's not even the best part. They pull out behind us. Yeah. And then they follow us down the entire stretch and every red light we hit, they're behind us. And I have to not like turn around and look at them. It we should have so talked to them. Yeah. We probably could have went, like, I know. hung out with them. Literally, it was like, such I regret a flaw. It. Like, I was what like, the hell was wrong with me? I like, know. <laughs> God. It just goes to show that it's not just famous people that she freaks out about. Okay. It's like other people, too. Okay, it's people that I like. Yeah, you look, clearly like them after the show. Like, if we had done it okay, before I the show, it would have been so different. Because when you see somebody on stage, you just feel, like, inferior to them. You're just like, Right, wow. that's why they didn't meet and meets before. Yeah, because... One time, I was in Florida with visiting my cousins in Miami, and we went to a hotel for some whatever reason. I think it was because my mom had to like do something there because my mom's an event planner, so we just went with her to this hotel because the mall was across the street, so we were like, okay, like we can do that, whatever. So then we realized that Jack Galinsky and Madison Beer are in Miami, like around our area, like because we saw like them posting pictures. 
So we're like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I have this hotel because it was like a pretty nice hotel. So we're like, maybe, like we should just go like walk around, whatever. The next thing we know, literally, we're looking over the pool and I see like, just like, you know when you can just know that someone's famous just how they're like holding up themselves? Like, that's how I knew. Because I saw the back of Madison Beer and the back of Jack Lipsy and I was like, that's them. And I was with my brother and my other two cousins and and they were like, no, and I was like, yes, I swear. And they were like, oh my gosh. Because then they realized I was right. Like we didn't have a key to that hotel because we didn't stay there. So we couldn't get inside of the pool. So we were just standing at the outside. Like, and then we were like, oh, this isn't probably gonna do anything. Cause they're probably not gonna come out of the pool right now. Like it's really unlikely. We can't stay in here for like three hours. So we're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> so we we're like, okay, whatever. Like we'll leave in like a couple minutes. Next thing we know, Jack Lindsay just walks in front of me. But all I do is just stand there again. I just stand there. You're and my really cousin are just standing there. And he walks right past us and I was like, oh my gosh. And then my brother like dabs him up. I think I have a video of it. I can put it in. And he like dabs him up and was like, hey man, like can I get a picture with you or whatever? <laughs> and then Jacqueline too was like, yeah, sure. Like come over here. And then that's when me and my cousin like went up to him. And we're like, oh, can we get a picture we got a picture with him, and he was pretty nice, honestly, but we didn't get to take a picture with Madison Beer, unfortunately. So she has way more stories that we could do in encounters. Yeah. That she could do way more with um, on another video. We'll be posting more now because yes. we got a ring light and shit. And, and we're trying to post again because yeah, you know. it's fun sometimes, you know, honestly. Yeah. You guys like my bleach shirt I made? I made this during quarantine. And if you guys want to buy any of my shirts, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, stop. She's been bleaching hella clothes and they look kind of cool. So we'll tag her Depop below oh, and if you just, you can look at them. Yeah, if anyone wants to buy anything on Depop. Yeah, that's it. Um, Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you next week. Yeah, hopefully. If we can think of you a never video. never know with us. Woo, got six months without talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week.